All right, that is the word on the crypto markets as they stand now. But with that, let's move on and bring you all of the cues that you should track as we get into a brand new trading session. We have our entire research team joining in with the trade setup this morning. Vahishta, Vivek and Nigel join me now to take you guys through all of the stocks that you should track and all of the individual cues as well. Uh, guys, a very good morning. And Vivek, let me come across to you first. We were just going through, you know, what's happening globally. And that could really be uh, what it's all about today. Well, absolutely right. You know, we are working with a very weak set of global queues and that could weigh down on as far as the Indian markets are concerned as well. So all the news flow regarding, you know, the U.S. midterm elections as well as the you know, very sharp sell-off that we've seen across uh, the entire crypto universe actually has led to uh, most of the equity markets worldwide ending yesterday's session on, uh, with, you know, deep cuts. So most of the U.S. markets are lower between 1.8% to 2.4 percent lower and along with that you know even the european markets you know on the back of the contagion effect actually saw quite a bit of a sell-off yesterday as well when you're talking about gold prices gold prices also dipped lower yesterday down almost half a percent and crude prices also yesterday on the back of higher than expected uh, build-up as far as inventories were concerned in the u.s also saw quite a bit of a sell-off when you're talking about uh, wti futures down almost three percent brent futures down almost 2.8 percent in yesterday's trading session uh, coming close Closer home, you know, corporate earnings continue uh, as far as uh, you know, the corporate India is concerned. And some of the key results today to keep an eye out for is Aisha Motors, JSPL, Ashok Leyland, Container Corporation. You're also seeing uh, sale as well as Zomato, you know, that will be declaring their Q2 results today. Uh, the IPO market also is quite active with quite a few issues that are still open for subscription. When you're talking about Asian markets, most of the Asian markets have followed the global peers trading in the red, and XJX Nifty 2 is indicating a gap down opening for our own markets. All right, Vivek, thanks a lot for getting us all of those cues. It is around a 40-point downtick on the SGX Nifty, so let's see how we move from there. But let's also bring Vahishta in, who has the entire list of stocks that we should be tracking. Uh, Vahishta, I'm guessing you're going to start with Tata Motors for its big shocker. That's right, Pavitra. It is a big shocker. Disappointing set of numbers coming in. Uh, missed the street est estimates by a high margin. EBITDA has come in at 5,500 crores versus the estimates which were much higher at 8,300 crores. The bottom line has a loss of 945 crores. Though the losses have contracted, but the expectations were a profit of 248 crores. So definitely disappointing for Tata Motors. Moving on to Star Health and Allied Insurance for Q2 of FI23. The gross written premium is up 11%, while the in incurred Claims are down by 8%. PD Light, again, weaker than expectations. The margins have come in marginally lower to 16.6% versus the poll, which was higher at 17.5%. Deepak Nitrate, another weak quarter for the company. Operating margins have uh, literally nosedived to 13.8% versus 23%. And the last stock is Galaxy Surfactants. Revenue of 40% so good, come in at 1,200 crores. Operating margins have also improved to 10.7% versus 8.7%. All right, Vahishta, thanks a lot for filling us in with all of those stock-specific details. Finally, let me hand it over to Nigel, who's looking at all of the cues from the futures and options market. Nigel. Well, morning. Uh, you know, yesterday the FI is they bought, but they bought a so smaller quantum. In the last many trading sessions, this is the smallest actually buy number that we got. And importantly, you look at the institutional number, that's the DI and the FI number together. Well, institutions were net sellers. On the index future side, well, they added uh, uh, some long positions yesterday and there were some mild shots that did get covered as well. That doesn't take away from the fact that they continue to remain net long on the index with close to 58% of their positions on the long side. Now, on the option side, well, they were buying calls as well as puts. But for me, what's telling me is that the bears are going to be putting a fight at around that 18,300, 18,350 is the way they wrote calls yesterday. Massive call writing is what we saw, close to around 11 uh, calls were written for every one put, telling you that at higher levels, you know, there is going to be supply and there's going to be a fight that's going to come in. And what were they writing yesterday? The 18,200, 18,300 calls, well, both of them very active. In fact, between the two, close to 90 lakh shares were added. So aggressive writing is what we saw out there, close to 95 lakh shares out there. Now, the buy on dips thesis, that will be tested today. Remember, we have expiry as well, that will play out. That's the weekly expiry. So that could be actually a blessing in disguise because we're going to have a bit of a weak session then you could get some support coming in at lower levels. The 18,000 put, that has a highest open interest, so expecting that level to hold down. And there'll be crucial support at around that 17,950. I say this because a few sessions ago, we went to around that 17,960-odd, and from there, we saw a bit of a bounce. SGX Nifty suggesting a bit of a downtick. Keep in mind, yesterday in the final hour of trade, we did see a 50, 60-point downtick. So that's why the SGX Nifty is not suggesting such a deep cash. Maybe some part of that weakness that we got overnight was factored in in yesterday's session itself. So 50 point downtick, let's see 
what happens from there. Back to you. All right, let's see what happens after that uh, lower star that we do get. Nigel, Vivek, Vahesha, thanks a lot for joining us and taking us through the trade setup this morning. But with that, it's time for our first short break on the show. When we come back, we'll talk about Tata Motors after it reports a very weak set of Q2 earnings. So all of the details after this short break. <laughs>